Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. This video will show you all how you can make your own custom daily schedule to send to your students within Google Classroom. Now, I already showed you guys a video on how to make this schedule using Seesaw, but this video is specific for those of you who are using Google Classroom instead. So there's two ways that you can go about making a daily schedule for your students like this. And this schedule is completely interactive. If you click on any of the links, it will take you exactly to their specific sessions that you have or their Seesaw journals. Um, so if you are going to start, you have two options. Like I said, the first option, you can make it directly in Google Slides. But the um, problem with this option is that you don't have access to the customized fonts that you could use if you go ahead and make this presentation inside of PowerPoint. When you use PowerPoint, you have access to all of the fonts that you've downloaded to your computers, and you also have different features like this reflection mode and um, shadow mode and things like that. So I'll show you both very briefly. Um, so if we're going to start in PowerPoint, go ahead and open up your Microsoft PowerPoint application on your computer. And you're going to start making a new slide. When you make a new slide, you're going to go just delete what they have there. And we want to add a text box that just says, we'll do um, just daily. And then we can go ahead and change that font to whatever you want. I'm going to again use Unicorn Dancing. It's one of my favorite fonts. Um, and I downloaded that from defont.com. And then I'm just going to make it bigger and go ahead and I want to give this a shadow. So I'm going to highlight it, go to shape format, go over here to the right of these boxes and click on the glowing A for text effects and just go to shadow and choose one that I like. Okay. So once I go to shadow, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this writing and add another text box here that is going to say schedule. Okay, once I write schedule, I need to edit this text once again. I'm going to use my other favorite um, font. Let's do cute and cuddly. And I want to make that bigger. And we can go ahead and start to edit this. So I let's just say I want to make this blue. Okay, and then I can go back to shape format and I can add another text effect like a shadow and I can also go and make a little quick reflection. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it basic for the sake of time. Um, you can layer these so I can go to my arrange tools here and bring this to the front so that schedule is a little bit behind. Whatever you want to customize it, you can simply just leave it as black and um, a normal normal writing as well. So the next thing you're going to do is add some type of shape for that, so that you can put all of your different um, parts of your schedule in. So I'm gonna go over here to shapes and I like to use the rounded uh, square. Go ahead and just drag that to the size you need. If you go to shape format, you can come to the left of this box now and go to shape effects. And I like to do put a shadow behind it so it looks a little like it's sticking out. Um, and then you can choose a fill color. I like to make sure that I am going to choose the same color for all of my live sessions, same color for all of my journal activities, same color for all of the specials that they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that color to yellow and choose no outline. And I can just copy and paste this as many times as I need and then just go ahead and change the color. So let's say that the next activity I'm doing is going to be blue. And you guys can make as many boxes as you need for what represents your schedule. So I'm going to say that I'm going to have another live meeting, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and make boxes for all of my daily components and then you guys can also use arrows to just kind of direct your students on where to go next so if you go to shapes which right now is here i can go and click on an arrow so they have this arrow here 
and I'll just drag it. And then I can also go up to this box, scroll down and give this an effect. Okay, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste this to, and have it go towards each of my different boxes. Okay, so because we want to be able to change the schedule or edit it as need be, I'm not gonna add any text in this mode. I'm just going to simply create my boxes and then um, I'm going to go ahead and when I transfer it to Google Slides, I'll go ahead and add my boxes, text boxes in then. Okay, so I'm just copying and pasting this so that it's easy to, um, to go ahead and edit. So once you're done, the next thing that you're going to do is save this. So how you can save this so that you can take it into um, Google Slides, you'll go to File and Export. When you're in Export, you'll go to um, PNG, Save File Format as PNG. And then you are going to go ahead and save current slide only, okay? And then when you go into your Google Slides here, you can add a new page, get rid of the text box again, and you can have nothing in your Google Slides. This can be a completely empty Google Slides that you're starting from scratch and just follow the same exact steps. So now once you have an empty page in Google Slide, you'll just go ahead and change the background, choose an image, browse your computer, and let's just go to, I believe I saved it to desktop, right here. Okay, so if I find it, I'll go ahead and insert it in, and press done. And here it is. So now I can go ahead and add a text box where I'm going to write in live lesson. You guys can go ahead and change your font to make it prettier. I also just found out that if you go here to more fonts, you guys can look through a longer list of fonts and then I found a lot of cute ones. So go ahead and do that so you guys can make this a little more customized within Google Slide as well. So let's go to shadows and to light two and have live lesson here. And I can go ahead and put the time underneath it. So let's say this is a lesson from 7.50 to 8.50 in the morning. And the next thing I want to do is just go to Google and find a image, okay? So I can find an image. Let's go and search and say, we are using Zoom. So I'm gonna do Zoom logo transparent, and then go to images, and then find one that is transparent. So hopefully it loads really quickly. If not, um, you can go ahead and find one that is cooperating. So let me look. Okay, so once it loads, you'll go right click, and copy image, go back to your classroom, and just paste it in. You'll go ahead and resize it to fit in your area. And once it's resized there, you'll go ahead, make sure you're clicked on your picture, and click up here in your toolbar where it says insert link. Then you'll go ahead and just link whatever link you have for your specific Zoom meeting here and press apply. Okay, I'm not gonna link it my own because I don't want to share that information, but you would just go through and link it for every different aspect that you have. I'm gonna go ahead and link my daily journals here as well, and I can show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it right here in my daily schedule that I created earlier, okay? And I created this following the same exact steps that I just told you. I just had a little more time to make it a little more colorful, but same exact steps. So once I'm ready to link my Seesaw journal, I'm gonna go into my Seesaw account and go to my activities. So remember when we're linking a Seesaw activity, the activity needs to already either be scheduled or assigned to your students. Once they are, you can go here to the three dots and go to get student link and then just go to copy link, okay? 
Once you copy that link, you can go ahead and click on your image. And I just took a screenshot of the front cover of my journal. And then you can go ahead and insert link and then insert it there. Okay. So I went ahead and just inserted the link. And now when you hover over any of these images, you can see that the students are able to click. Okay. You can also incorporate your specials classes for each day if your specials rotate. Just go ahead and make a slide for Monday schedule, Tuesday schedule, all throughout the week. And then you can just go through and edit this one um, link for their Seesaw journal. So that is how you make your journal using um, PowerPoint. If you wanted to make it directly into Google um, Slides, you can do that. It's just you won't have as many options for um the different effects that it could have. So let's start in Google Slides. So if we go here and we just opened up a new um, a new template or a new slide, and I'm going to go ahead and write in daily schedule, just like I did before in PowerPoint, and find some cute text. Okay, find something that I like and move this to the top. And then let's get rid of this extra box and we can go here to shapes and insert in a shape just like we did in the other slide. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my shape just like I did, fill it with a color, get rid of the border, and voila, you have the same exact um, feature. One thing that you can do is add a shadow. So if you click on your shape, and go over to format options. You can choose here that it says drop shadow. So that would give it a cool little um, effect. And you can also do reflection too, but you just don't have as many options on how to control it. So that is how you will go ahead and do it on there. You can go ahead and copy and change the color for your different activities, just like we did before. Continue to copy it. So this option to make it in Google Slides is completely feasible. Um, again, you just won't have access to those custom fonts that you've downloaded to your computers. That's the main difference. Okay, so you go ahead and um, lay out your schedule. You can go and add in a shape like arrows to direct your students on where to go. Fill it in how you'd like. Okay, so it looks exactly the same that we made before. We would again go and um, drop in whatever logos that we want and follow the same steps to link them. Okay, so once we're done, let's say that we want to add this into our Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to assign your daily schedule that's interactive with all of these links into your um, Google Classroom. So one moment, let me go ahead and open up my classroom. Okay, so once you're in your Google Classroom, you can go over here to Classwork, and then you're going to press on Create, and you can either um, go ahead and send this out as an assignment or material. If you plan on keeping um, your schedule pretty consistent and you want your students to just be able to go and say, here's my Monday schedule, here's my Tuesday schedule, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and um, you just want them to be able to access that every week, I would suggest to put it in materials and you can just make sure that it stays um, in their feed and they're not turning something in. So I would choose material here and I would just title it Monday schedule. And then you can write a description on like how to go ahead and follow this post or this schedule. Click on add and then go to Google Drive. And then you want to go ahead and it's going to pop up with your most recent, which is perfect since we just worked on it. And you're going to find the Google Classroom that you want and you'll insert it in and you can see it here. Okay, so I, when I'm ready, I'm going to post it. And then I can go here and I see it in my feed. And once I click on it, I can open it up. And here it is for my students. And they're able to click on these links like so. 
and get to where they need to be at whichever specific time I've outlined for them um, in their feed. One thing to take note of is that when you go in and um, send this out, you want to make sure that, well, if you send it out as a material, you don't have that option. Um, and students are just going to see your view mode. But if you go and send it as an assignment, let me show you how to do that. So let's do Monday schedule again. Let's do Monday class schedule so we can see the difference. And go to add, Google Drive. And once it loads, we'll click on the right schedule that we want. And now over here, when you're doing an assignment, you want students can view file or you can make a copy for each student. You just want to make sure that you don't want students can edit file. OK, if they're just viewing it, that's perfectly fine. Or if they have their own copy, then that's perfectly fine as well. But you just want to make sure you don't accidentally hit that edit file. OK, so we can do view file and then assign that way. So that's how you make a daily schedule that looks like this. You can also insert in your Bitmoji by just using your Bitmoji Chrome extension and typing in the word pose to find all of those great poses. Right click, copy, and just insert it in. And look, she's right there, ready to go. So there's so many things that you can do. This can be your Monday schedule. You can have another one for Tuesday that has different specials classes or enrichment classes, different journal links, um, and whatnot. So if you're using this daily, you don't have to remake the schedule again and again. You can simply just go into this Google slide and update your um, link for your, for your new daily journal and um, it will update automatically for your students. So that's really fun, um, really easy to use. You don't have to sit here and make this again and again. You can just simply copy and paste and change out your ones, um, your couple of links. Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. As always, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and leave a comment. Um, and I am excited to make the next video for you guys. Thank you so much.